<laughs> Hello and welcome to day three of the Northeast Film Festival. My name is Dana and I'm here with Rodrigo. He is one of the stars of one of the shorts called 4AM. Redman and Mita. <laughs> I told him you would say that. <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about your character, Rodrigo? Uh, I can tell you about the film and that will, I think, open up the way for the character and all that. Great. But uh, the film is about... Uh, Redmond and Mita, but Redmond is coming home late at night and he finds that Mita is awake waiting for him. And originally, and you know, and, and it's about the relationship and how it develops, and you kind of find out the, the, the dynamics of it. And without giving anything away, I think it's about, you know, what happens in this particular relationship when uh, one of them quits drinking and how that interferes with the relationship. Uh, it was originally a play, a short play, and part of a, another festival, and from that we performed it, I think, seven times, something like that, and then after we finished that we decided to, you know, film it and, and see how the transition from stage to film goes. And <laughs> how did you think the transition went in comparison? Like, how was it? It's interesting. I think every time you watch it with a different crowd, you feel differently about it. And I've, you know, it's, it's been a while now and put it away. I like to work things, you know, very slowly. So I, I we shot it, edited it, put it away for some time, let it breathe, came back to it and did this like two or three times. And I think the whole process took a year when it didn't really need to take a year, you know, for what it was. But... Uh, it's interesting. You ask me that question and I'll give you a completely different answer every time. I think, you know, I think there's there obviously diff there's a lot of similarities between the two, even though people don't, you know, say swear that theater is very different from film. But there, of course there are differences, you know, and I think film allows you to really breathe in the time a lot more than uh, film, the, you know, than, than theater does. But... I saw the flick, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. It's a play. It won the Pulitzer Prize, uh, I think, a couple years ago, and and it's great. People, the actors really take their time with it, which I think is phenomenal. You don't see, and and the the play originally. I like how now we're talking about this. No, because it, I, I find it fascinating. The play originally was taken down, like it was considered a flop, and then some time went by, and this woman, the, the author, won the Pulitzer Prize, and then they brought it back up, and now people, of course, line up to go see this play, and the actors take their sweet time. It's like a three-hour play that's, in my opinion, really well executed in terms of the pacing. I think she could shave off an hour. I wouldn't tell her that. But, Maybe she'll see that. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but I think that's that's those are the differences. That is, I think, ultimately what I learned. Was the was the play um, a long play or was it a short as well? No, it was. Ex it's exactly as you saw. It's exactly the same thing. And I think that's where. So when I see it, I'm like, oh, this probably would have would have not worked in you know it didn't work in what I don't think worked in theater. But now that I think about it, it probably. Uh, in, the, in the film, it probably didn't work in theater either, but of course I can't experience it as the viewer. And I think that's the difference. Like watching it, you're like, oh, I would have just changed a couple of things, you know. But yeah, it was, you know, trying to respect it 100% from the writing to, to the film. Cool. Well, I personally loved the film. I thought you were great. I thought your co-star was great. Lots of twists and turns. I highly recommend it. It is called 4AM Redmond and Mita. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, Redmond. Um, thank you for having me. Mita.